Uh, it's awesome being the best graduating student. I mean, lots of accolades, so many opportunities. The honor has been massive. I'm happy that I've been able to put smiles on the faces of so many people. Again to Medical Diaries, thank you so much for clicking this video. Before we continue, I would like to remind you of the reason why you clicked on this video. I'm sure you want to learn a lot of things from the best graduating student, Farm Cynthia. So please watch to the end and make a proper use of every detail that you get from this video. Quickly, I want to tell you what to expect from this video. I've asked a lot of people questions or what they need and they have said a lot already. From this video, you'll be getting study tips from Farm Cynthia and you'll also be getting um, how she was able to arrange her time, her method of reading, did she engage in extracurricular activities. Someone even said, please, can you advise me as though I am your sister, how I really want to do well in med, in med school. How are you able to, to arrange your things? How are you able to study? How are you able to manage your time? Were you reading or true? Or you also engaged in activities like um, uh, maybe being active in church, being active in organizations, politics, and a whole lot. So please, we are going to have Farm Cynthia now. And she's going to help us to arrange some of those things and answer our questions. <laughs> okay, this is Farm Cynthia. Like, it's a great privilege to have her today. I am really happy that she honored our invitation. So you're welcome, Ma. Thank you, thank you very much, Medical Diaries. It's uh -huh. awesome to be here. Uh, thank you so much, Ma. Okay, you're welcome, Ma. Thank you. <laughs> what can you say about um, this your achievement? Like in, in maybe two statements, what can you really say about it? Okay, uh, it's awesome being the best graduating student. I mean, lots of accolades, so many opportunities. The honor has been massive. I'm happy that I've been able to put smiles on the faces of so many people uh -huh. and you know, a lot of people have been looking up to me on so many fronts so this was like a major door opener so i'm really excited about this new academic achievement uh, please i would like everyone to make use of the comment section and tell her congratulations because it's not easy at all when i went for her induction like i saw how busy she was everyone trying to like i saw the happiness the joy in everybody's face Please, like, I would like you to also say that one day you'll also be the best. So quickly, let's continue. So, Ma, um, how were you able to arrange your time when you were a student? Okay, so I work very well with time planners. Okay. Time planners are little jotters that I carry everywhere. Um, if you don't mind, I can show you one. It helps me arrange my time. That's why go everywhere with something wow. as tiny as this so basically i know what i'm doing per time like i know what i'm doing at every i know what i'm supposed to do every day i have my activities arranged for the week and i know what i'm supposed to do at each given time like eight to five eight to ten what am i supposed to be doing at nine o'clock so i just i use that to plan my time so that i don't um wow I don't miss out activities or I don't spend my time, I don't waste much yes. of my day without, you know, doing something productive. So basically, this is it. just little time planners that I get to tick when I've done something, I take it off wow. the list. Wow. Like I'm very detailed. You with see? Time. And organized too, obviously. <laughs> you can't just waste that time. So um, before we continue, I would like to tell you that one thing that has been consistent with um, most of these best graduating students is that they manage their time well. You can see, well detailed. 6.9 CDP, like, that's extreme. <laughs> Congratulations once again. So, her method of reading, somebody asked your method of reading, did she engage in extracurricular activity? I think that's from Marvelous, yeah, Marvelous. Okay, Ma. Okay, my method of reading, when I, um, Firstly, from secondary school, I attended Louisville Girls High School. Oh. 
we uh. are taught to read every day so we have this prep time i, I don't know i think most schools should do that but we had um yeah, compulsory. my school did not do that <laughs> okay so we had compulsory prep time so we had prep time in the morning prep is for reading so we had compulsory prep time in the morning from i think um from 6 45 a.m to 7 30 or to 7 15 it's compulsory for every student to be reading that's morning prep wow. then in the evenings to from 4 p.m to 6 p.m it's compulsory for every student to be reading like <laughs> oh you'll be in class not that they'll be monitoring you if you make noise so you're supposed to be reading and then after dinner to from 6 30 p.m till no from 7 p.m till 9 p.m everybody's supposed to be reading so wow. even if you don't want to read you must you read, read. <laughs> so, um, thumbs up to Louisville I mean it, that, that reading culture was just it was awesome then when I got to the University of Ibadan my first week my first class we I had farm chem pharmaceutical chemistry and the lecturer that was to take us Dr. Adebolagun she was the best graduate student in 1988 wow. and she told us that um pharmacy school can um it's it can choke you up if you're not if you're leaving your work um uh, behind if you're allowing it to pile up so uh she told us that it's always good to read what you're taught in a day so that at least you know that you can get that one off your mind and then move, move on, on to other things because pharmacy school lots of classes like you've not even digested one and you're already swallowing the next thing so <laughs> I did that like when I got home when I got back to my um hostel that day I read what they taught us of course I was not able to keep up like all the time but the fact that I was actually making efforts to yes, read yeah. something even if it's not every day at least if they taught me something in January I should not just be opening it for the first time in February so <laughs> yeah. that really helped because I was always ahead of my game so even if there was a test or exam, I'm not just opening it for the first time. I've probably dissected, opened, read, checked past questions, made some efforts. Even if it's just a few minutes I'm using on it daily, it's something better than not opening or not reading at all till exam period. So that was um, one of my reading strategies. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. So that was quite detailed. I believe you got a lot. Personally, I got a lot. And... I really hope to apply everything I've got. So, um, another person said... <laughs> Have I answered the question on extracurricular activities? Okay, no. That's true. Okay. Uh, so, with extracurricular activities, I heard someone say that um as best grade student were you able to have fun and what i'll say about that is that fun is actually relative mm -hmm. i don't think there's anything i wanted to do in school that i didn't do in 200 level i was the miss pharmacy uh, that's a very social oh, event she, so mm. <laughs> I, <Fine girl. laughs> I so i won that pageant that pageantry miss pharmacy, pharmacy whatever it was um 300 level i joined the um literary and debating <laughs> society so um sorry, sorry, sorry. that was another big feat you know i got to speak for different um i got to speak at different competitions i won several awards um i was the best speaker at chief Larry Bello um debate competition in wow. 2018 so uh as that's just one. There were so many others. There was the Mekuyan um debate competition for organized by Pharmacy L and D and then many other um competitions. debate competitions like that. So and that's out of my scope as a pharmacist and I was still able to pull that through by the grace of God. Um I also did other things on the side. Yes, I was going to church literally every day. I'm not uh -huh. even going to lie literally every day because for me personally when i saw that this pharmacy thing <laughs> is not me it's god it's not me that you kill so i just knew that i have to um engage like i just had to engage the supernatural my first day in school you know when you come um into pharmacy school proper that's 200 level you have seniors come and talk to you they'll say <laughs> we had this particular senior Normally, seniors will come, they will advise you on um, what to do and what not to do in pharmacy school so that you can pass and all that. So we had this senior come in and then I remember clearly that I was really tired of listening to all the things that all the seniors had to say because I was like, what is this? You're instilling so much fear in yeah, us. Yeah. So he came and he said something. If you're a Christian, 
you have to be ready to know god in this season if you're a muslim you have to be ready to pray five times a day if you're a traditional worshiper you have to be ready to carry tortoise on your neck as you're coming to class <laughs> you know that you're going to pass pharmacy because pharmacy is not yeah, your regular course and i believe it's like that for some other yes, health courses yes. too oh, like if you're depending on your especially. strength yeah. ah so i already knew that oh my god oh god and then that was the time where i came about um i came across um exam outreach messages being preached by pastor tara akin kwade that's the senior pastor of the standing church and he was talking about academic excellence and i was like like i've never heard those kind of things before like he was talking about um the spirit of excellence from the book of daniel and that really that it's it's Put my academics in a new line entirely like wow. with that revelation from god's word i started scoring scores that i couldn't even imagine that this was possible so that was like a major change for me in my academics yes. and that's one thing that really helped me like i met um i came across those messages early because i'm a d student i came across those messages early i enough. early enough like my first semester like second month so um people were talking about it so his um these are messages called exam outreach messages now it has been changed to the supernatural students so they are messages on academic excellence preached by pastor tara akinkwade um he's also a medical doctor he finished from medical school wow, wow. university of ibadan so um he was talking about how you can attain academic excellence by the word of god he was talking about um the spirit of excellence from the book of daniel and that was so awesome for me like things that were actually in god's word and i never saw it like that i never knew that god was actually that interested in my academics right so he, he was teaching some topics like conquer this battle and then like conquer this battle like conquer this exam battle and from a place where i used to be afraid before every exam i just became so confident spirit of excellence my scores started changing from 70s and started scoring 80s i thought uh -huh. that was all i started scoring 90s literally by staying on god's word so how would i go to church every day i loved going to church every single day because oh. that was where i was drawing my strength from so it was awesome and so we have seen it now most times to be like ah I can't go to church today. I want to read our exams <laughs> next week. <laughs> so it's not really working like that. You can draw strength from God's work. So, uh, what are the challenges you face? Some, somebody say, what are the challenges you face? How can you be of help for if I were to be your sibling? Yeah. <laughs> what challenges did I face? Pharmacy itself is really, really choking. If you're not careful, it's it has a tendency to swallow people up if you're not if you're not on your game so what i did was like i was praying a lot as regards my academics to be honest i was fasting i was sowing my seeds and i was listening to messages the exam outreach messages and i kept um confessing what god's word says about me what the bible has to say about my academics alongside my diligent studying so if i tell you that it's just studying a lot of people are studying and failing so wow. i can't say it's just hard work for me personally it can't be just hard if i say it's just hard work then i'm lying because i worked hard but i did other things too so it's cool but like i already said if i'm a best graduating student in 1988 yeah. a lecturer in this faculty said i should try as much as possible not to allow my work pile up she was talking to the whole class i don't know how many people took that advice why well, i took it and that advice um helped in producing another best grade in 2022 i think that means that the principle is the same if you just continue if you're just diligent enough to stay for those five years six years seven years um depending on how long you are in school we as students we just need to or you as a student you just need to learn to cut down like the unnecessary things you have to learn to delay gratification that video game that's extra 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 unneeded sleep and then, now yeah. phone pressing you have to learn to cut it down focus after a couple of years you can do anything you want to do so yeah, that's true. yeah. hey so somebody said uh, uh how was she able to um, um organize her time I think I already answered yeah, already that. Said something yes, that, right? so I already said that. Yeah, I get a small time planner, get a small jotter. If your phone works for you, fine. This is 
an example of what I use, just tiny jotters. I know what I'm supposed to be doing by 8 a.m. on Monday. I know what I'm supposed to do by 9 a.m. on Tuesday. So my time is really arranged. But at the same time, don't be too rigid with it so that if something comes up, you'll be able to know how to fix and rearrange your time and let everything just flow so that it won't be like, you know, you, because one thing didn't work out, then other things can't work out. So time planning with some flexibility, basically. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. So, okay, what challenge did she face? I think she already said something like that. Yeah. So, oh, how can you be of help to someone as though the person was... As though he, uh, how can you be of help to someone as if I were to be your sibling? I think it's okay. Oh. The, like I said, the person that helped me, or one of the helps I received, it's not as if I wasn't doing well before I came to UI, but like I said, pharmacy is an entirely different ball game because we've seen people that have been so good in secondary school and primary school, they got to university and they're like, oh my god, what is this? Mm -hmm. So for me personally, I was listening to exam outreach messages now called the supernatural student Which is it's now a telegram. It's on a telegram channel now So if you want the messages, there are different messages there Um, There is conquer this battle which teaches on how you can conquer um, Exams and come out victorious. There's um the spirit of excellence it teaches you on how you can score excellent scores You know when they are grading i don't know if you well my own school my own secondary school used to do that because yeah. if you score like 80 something they'll say oh very good you score 70 good but if you score 96 between 96 and 100 that's excellent yeah. for my secondary, secondary school. school and i think you are excellent is like 75 yes, so. Level 80 yes so how you can score excellent scores it teaches how you it teaches how you can do it physically it teaches how you can do it by the power of god it literally imparts you on how you can do it by the power of god so those messages are your go-to messages for anything exam if it's a school exam a life exam professional exam whatever it is those messages were my go-to messages i listen to them like all the time so exam outreach messages that's beautiful ma so um i think the last question here is uh, someone just said just advise me because i would like to be okay this person is not yet in school i would like to be in medical field and i really don't know how to go about studying <laughs> like uh, and the person was like how many hours can you study in a day how many hours are in a day <laughs> four hours. how many hours can you sleep in a day ah. They said it, uh, it depends on you yeah. <laughs> it depends on you actually it depends on you your own priority and what your body can carry for me um like i said i'm not a night reader so when people say they are coming to school to do overnight um it's if i do that i'm just deceiving myself because i read during the day and i sleep during the night since i'm not a cockroach or anything <laughs> i'm i'm used to sleeping at oh, night so, so what thank you so what i would advise is um you study yourself know which one works better for you some people genuinely read at night because they get distracted during the day so if that works for you then that's fine so drop a calendar drop a schedule if you're not yet in school i'm assuming you're about to take jam so you should have your the four courses you're taking the um your timetable your reading timetable your personal reading timetable if you're attending lessons that'll be good because you get to rub minds with other people who are also preparing for the same exams so you know the areas they've covered you know the areas that you need help with okay so when you come back from lessons daily you can spend some time resting doing things you have to do and then actually spending time studying for me i like studying from the morning time because i feel like i just woke up so my head is fresh i eat a lot when i'm reading so basically i'm just eating reading and i feel relaxed i'm not going to sleep off okay so if that works for you then it's fine as far as you can just get a cool place a study you don't have to build one but just make do with what you have even if it's a sitting room or a dining just sit down and study pray before you study honestly i that's one thing i don't leave out i don't leave out prayers in anything so i pray first i study i speak the words of i speak the words that mm -hmm. pastor tara has spoken over me for my academics because you know um i kept sowing my seeds he kept praying over me and he kept you know imparting me 
with that spirit of excellence so i speak those words over and over again and i know that that's what i'm going to expect i speak the scores i want to have before i enter any exam i would have already written okay in this score mathematics this is what i want in this english this is what i want and i just trust god to make that happen for me so basically that's what i was doing so if you can make out time and um, refuse to get distracted and just be there studying and decide to you know be at, get be at it even if it's not easy if it's five minutes 15 minutes just continue you keep adapting till it gets to a time where you can study for six hours straight and you won't feel like you did anything why people usually get tired of reading is because they don't understand what they are reading but if you understand what you're reading and it's interesting to you you even know when you oh my god it's seven hours already and i'm still here because you've watched youtube videos you've studied you've done past questions and you're just enjoying what you're reading if you're enjoying it you won't feel like it's taking so much time so learn to love whatever it is whatever subjects whatever course you're doing and i wish you god's best and i pray for you that much more you're seeing the hand of God produce for you in your academics in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I receive this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Another advice for every every viewer out there, viewers like me that would want to be like you. Final <laughs> advice. <laughs> want to be like me as how best graduates yes <laughs> uh well there's nothing impossible when you put god first also the bible says that you know the bible was talking about um paul and people just feel like everybody in the bible was depending on god's strength and they didn't do any work to get what they mm-hmm. had and all but Paul was saying that I labored more than every other person. That means he was working really hard. I just want you to know that it's the power of God that, you know, helps us to study, that gives us strength. You can actually um, meet, you can actually run to God for strength in academics and get it. Because if you try to do it all by yourself, you see that there's so little that human strength or human efforts can get you. Okay, um, I'll just give you this short story. When I finished just one, I was very sad that I didn't receive any prize or anything, no award, no recognition, like my scores were so average. And, um, you know, I was looking to get that changed in Jess too. So when I resumed, they gave us an assignment. I was not even, which one is power of God? I was, we'll see. I'll work hard and I'll be the best in Jess too and all that. So we had this basic science assignment to write on, that we should give an example on, uh, an example of food chain, you know. The teacher said it won't be hard now, just food chain. I mean, just say grass, put arrow, go to eat grass put arrow man it's good simple uh, so of course i was so eh my my and i must this just too i must put in the best and be the best of the best i did food web, web. Do you know food web <laughs> yes now nah. ah, the food web not the one that they used to write the the as not that you write the grass you draw the grass uh, you now draw the goats le- you draw man you would draw lion. You, lion. You, you would draw. Oh my God! And I didn't want anybody. I didn't want to show anybody what I did, so that you will not copy oh me. God. So that two of us will not be first position. So that only me will be first. The the, when, the kind of zero that I got, you know, zero with insults. Like the lecturer, the teacher was like, "Why do you stress? Like, if you want to score zero, can't you just score zero without stressing the teacher? Like, it was really bad." And I'm like, "Oh my, I'm tired of actually putting in my head." I still not win any prize. That just <laughs> literally, my academics were so poor until later, later on in secondary school. Till I, when I, you know, started engaging God more with my personal activities. Not that my academics was poor, but it was very average. Like very very average so basically for me i've seen the power of what take me to levels that i couldn't have seen myself before that's why i can't advise anybody to just do it on their own human strength because human strength can take you like here but divine energy Thank you so much, Wai. It was a nice, a nice time with her today. It was really, really a nice time with her. And okay. once again, I want to thank her for um, acknowledging our interview. I also want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. I beg you. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs>